so much. Well, how often do you check your skin for unusual moles? And would you know really what to look for when it comes to skin cancer? Uh, former Olympian Bruce Jenner also stepped out of the Kardashians, learned about it firsthand. You might remember this. He got a cancerous growth from his face removed recently, so he's going to be okay. But this is just a, an example of the real danger here. And joining us this morning is Dr. Joe Cohen with uh, About Skin Dermatology. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. So, what are some of the, I, I guess, common skin cancers, and what should we really be looking for? Well, first of all, it's important to realize that about 20% of Americans will get a skin cancer during their lifetime. So, 20%. it's absolutely critical that they realize that they should be looking at their own skin once a month. They should be going to the doctor once a year for a full skin check and that's really adults should be having a full skin check once a year. And in particular, basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer. Mm -hmm. We tend to look for something that is a pearly color, may have little blood vessels within it. Okay. Squamous cell carcinoma tends to have crusting and scabbing, and melanoma is the most worrisome type of skin and cancer. I think we have art of that uh, to pop up. There it is. That's what we're talking about there. So how do you examine your own skin, you know, when it comes to self-check? So self-check should be done once a month by adults, and you're really wanting to look for any new skin lesion that may be growing, changing, bleeding, scabbing, crusting, getting larger. Uh, those types of things are concerning. So with moles in particular, things that have pigment, something that develops asymmetry can be a sign that this has actually changed and become a concerning or even a skin cancer type of skin lesion. I think the bottom line is to know your body, obviously. And most surgery is uh, one of the most advanced treatments out there when it comes to skin cancer, right? Yes, most surgery was pioneered by a physician who was also an engineer. And he really came up with a technique to examine the entire margin. Mm -hmm. So rather than look at something Thing like slices of a loaf of bread, he really came up with a way to look at the entire crust of a pie so that we can examine more of a margin and it's associated with significantly higher cure rates than traditional surgical procedures. I know we always talk about prevention and to wear sunblock. I mean, I think you can beat it to death saying that, but a lot of people don't do it, especially in the winter. They don't think about it. Is SPF maybe like 15 enough for this time of year? You know, the short answer is SPF is enough, SPF 15 is enough, but it's going to get a lot easier because what's really critically important is that people realize that not only do you need to be reapply the right sunscreen, you need to apply it in adequate amounts and every two hours reapply it. If you're in the water and toweling off, it should be more frequent than that. So look for things that contain UVA coverage as well, things like zinc and titanium and avabenzone, and many of those formulations have gotten a lot more cosmetically elegant. You can I actually rub it in. Yeah, you just have to get Get used to it. You brought some samples real quick, but I mean, keep a little bottle. It's like lotion. Once you wash your hand, just remember to put it on, right? Yeah. People have to realize that it takes about a half a teaspoon to cover the face with sunscreen. If you want to cover the whole body and you're at the beach, it's about a shot glass size full. Okay, just keep those things handy. All right, thank you so much. We appreciate it, Dr. Cohen. Always good to see you. Uh, for more information on about skin dermatology, go to our website, thedenverchannel.com. We will have a link there. We are